everything you missed from Google I.O. First, Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's Google's new AI brain with a deep think mode. It can solve complex problems, write code, and even run your apps. My personal favorite is vibe coding. You can upload a video and it'll literally write a program that captures the video's vibe. Now, Gemini Live is free for all users starting today, meaning iPhone users are finally invited. Gemini Live, if you don't know, is a real-time assistant that watches your screen and literally helps you along the way. That's a pretty nice convertible. I think you might have mistaken the garbage truck for a convertible. It's not just chatting, it's watching and thinking with you. And there's also changes to their tiers. Their $20 service is now called Google AI Pro and it's more limited. And their more advanced AI Ultra tier is now $250, which is $50 more expensive than OpenAI's equivalent plan. But Google search is also getting a glow up. There's now AI mode, which turns every search into an AI chat. It's a total reimagining of what we think of when we hear Google search. You can start a query, ask it questions and use their AI to find your answers. Oh, and now there's a virtual shopping assistant that lets you try on clothes virtually. Kind of cool. And they also dropped Google Flow. And it's really cool because it lets you be the director of your video and allows you to do things like changing the camera angles. Then they also revealed Project Astra. It's like an all seeing AI assistant that uses voice, camera and memory to help you with real world tasks like fixing a bike or navigating problems that pop up in real time. My personal favorite is if you're too busy to to make a phone call, but you need to call a business, let's say to see if they have an item in stock, it'll call the business for you. Have a full blown conversation with the person at the store. Then when the conversation's over, it'll hang up and then report back to you its findings. And it wasn't just software at Google IO. They also teased their Android XR glasses that they're going to be releasing soon. They do real time translation, turn by turn directions, and they actually look good because they're partnered with Warby Parker and Gentle Monster. And that was pretty much Google IO 2025. What was your favorite thing that came out of this Google event? Let me know in the comments.